Hey, Chris, great job in class today. Um, next week, we're going to start practicing a book together. But for now, what I want you, want you to keep on doing is practice um, practice these chords. So we've learned two so far. We have C, which you know how to play, A minor. There's a new one that we're going to learn called G. What we're going to do is we're going to take our ring finger, our third finger, put it right here on the third fret of the first string. We're going to take our second finger and place it here on the second fret of the fifth string. And our middle finger is going to come right here on the third fret of the sixth string. You can rewind this video a couple times if you need to, um, you know, to you know, get the fret numbers down. But that's G. What I want you to do is I want you to play all three of these chords, um, but I want you to count one, two, three, four as you play them, and play each chord on one like this. One. Just like that. Um, as far as practicing these chords go, um, there's three things I want you to remember. Um, first of all, after you get the the right you know positions down with your hands of where your fingers are going to go, you have to play with the tip of your fingers. All right. You have to push down very very hard. That's the second thing. The third thing is you have to curve your fingers like this. Let me move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. You see when I'm playing this C chord. My finger, um, my fingers are all very, very curved. So, I want you to practice that. Let me know if you have any questions this week. Um, again, practice this chord progression while we're counting, um, and uh, I'll send you. Or, or starting in the next couple weeks, we'll be working on some songs. So we can work on like "Sweet Home Alabama." I mean, any song that you want to work on, we'll we'll learn. So let me know if you have any questions this week, and I'll see you next time.